This first article actually infuriates me a little bit, uh, so let's get into that from Tom'sHardware.com. Intel officially introduces pay-as-you-go chip licensing. Intel's Xeon Sapphire Rapid CPUs to activate additional features on demand. And when I first read this, I thought this meant you were like renting a chip in the cloud, so you're paying as you use it somehow. <laughs> it's a and it's like, what chip. is it? How is you know? <laughs> are you using some remote hardware? And then I realized you're actually getting the chip and just not getting all of its features unless you're paying for it. Is that right? Right. So Intel, they've actually been talking about this for a year, and so they're just now rolling it out. There's two different billing models here. So right now, if you go and buy an Intel processor, you get 100% of that processor, and you can use it 100% of the time. It's, it's yours. You can use it forever. You bought it uh, unless... I don't know, unless you get it repossessed or something. Otherwise, it's yours, you use it, and, and you go crazy. Well, they're introducing two new billing models. One is a consumption model where you're billed based on metered usage. So if you use 80% of the CPU that day, you get billed a certain value. And if you use 100% of the CPU that day, you get billed a different value. So you're actually billed as you use the processor. Now, for most people, like if you own a, a laptop or a desktop, that sounds like a really, really stupid deal, and you'd be absolutely right. This is really targeted to data centers, right? Uh, so high-end servers, enterprise data centers, where a usage model like this actually makes a lot more sense. Uh, they can save a bunch of money in some cases. I thought you were going to get way more specific. This is billed to only people named Joe who live in... Paraguay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, maybe. It's a, a weird function, but they, they decided to go that way. What can I do? Well, this reminds me of like those uh, BMWs recently where they had an issue where to activate the heated seats, you had to pay a monthly fee. We were talking about right. this kind of thing. So now that is closer to what their second business model is, which is the okay. activation model. Mm -hmm. And the activation model, that's almost more like an in-app purchase in an mm -hmm. app on your phone. It's right? Like an upgrade. So, yeah, you got your Angry Birds, but if you want the Golden Bird or the one that looks like Obi Wan Kenobi, Just or shut something, up and take my money. Well, you got to pay an extra dollar, right? Yeah. So they have introduced in-app purchases to your CPU if you want to add some advanced functionality. And, and so far, they're gating a, a handful of uh, of features that are are really focused on people that uh, are running large-scale databases or machine learning workloads, things of that nature. Uh, so their dynamic load balancer, their software guard extensions, the Intel data streaming accelerator, uh, the in-memory analytics accelerator, each of these little features are ones that most people don't need. And if people do need them, they usually only need like one of them. I, I don't think there is a use case where somebody would need all of the features. And so what you can do is you can buy the CPU without those features on day one. And then when you need them, you can pay extra to unlock those extra features. And now you've got them. They haven't come out with all the details on it yet, but it sounds like once you unlock it, you you do have that feature forever. So at least it's not monthly billing like the consumption model, but it is a a brave new world for CPUs. So you, you don't own what you buy. What do you think? You think this is going to fly, or you think there's like a niche market that they'll make some money? You think off we have a choice? Of, or? Well, <laughs> so they're, they're not the first to do this. Like the IBM mainframe model. If you ever oh, yeah, worked on any Z true. series mainframe, yeah. that's how they build for decades. It's expensive. Yo, oh, you wouldn't believe it. Yeah, I mean, well, you would. I you, would yeah. believe it. Yes, <laughs> but this is more hitting consumers, where that was more of kind of a B two B thing. So. You know, I think the general public was not used to that kind of billing method for this type yeah. of right. device. And I don't think the general public ever will be. Like yeah. if the Intel, if Intel tried to roll this out on consumer laptops right now, people would start buying ARM processors more mm. and just say, "Well, Intel can stuff it." And you know, there, I mean, there's not a whole lot of doing that anyway. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Is does this does this add to e-waste because there's components that that are built into every chip that that aren't used that you or know, not really. Because so we're talking about such, it really depends on volume. Because in a way, they're they're actually saving money because it, this might have been five okay. different CPUs before, and now it's just one CPU. And in five different production lines to make right. five different chips, and now right. they're able to just. Now, I'm sure there's some tipping point sure. where you know the amount of processes they make offsets the equipment they have or, or whatever. And I, I don't know what that is, but I would I would assume that this is more efficient. Hmm. Well, it still pisses me off. But <laughs> you know what happens when you assume. Yeah, you are right every time. <laughs> <laughs> well, they wouldn't be doing it if it wasn't profitable or efficient, well, but we don't know that it's profitable. If there's one thing we know about Intel, it's that they make great decisions all the time. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, your itanium processor. That's amazing. <laughs> it's amazing yeah, they, bad that sits on the shelf. Do they have Microsoft <laughs> help them name these? Then it would be the itanium, <laughs> uh, itanium 
Pentium Series 7 <laughs> series. Yeah. series. Duo. <laughs> Duo core. Duo. <laughs> Duo core. Six. It was getting out of hand for a little while, yeah. right? The Intel Core 2 Duo. Yeah. yeah. Uh, right? It was yeah. nuts. Yeah. That, that was real. Yeah, that is yeah. annoying. Yeah. yeah. If you enjoyed that segment, be sure to check out our entire podcast available in the playlist right here. And you can always subscribe to stay up to date with the latest tech news and other happenings in the IT world. Be sure to tune in every Thursday for new episodes. I hope to see you there.